Hi everyone, let's prove that there are infinitely many primes of the form 4n plus 3. We're going to be proving this by contradiction, so suppose there exists finitely many primes of this form 4n plus 3. So in other words, primes p that are congruent to 3 mod 4. And we'll make we'll say that this complete list is p1, p2, all the way through to pm. And what we're going to do is we're going to let n equal to the product of these primes, p1 times p2 all the way through to pm. We're going to let m equal to 4n minus 1. So that's going to be equal to 4p1, p2, all the way through to pm minus 1. And we're going to be working with this m quite a bit. So first of all, note that m is greater than or equal to 4 minus 1. It's, it's certainly more than that, but uh, just as a very weak lower bound, it's, equal, it's greater than or equal to 3. So m has a prime factor, let's call it q, because any, any integer greater than or equal to 2, greater than or equal to 2 has a prime factor. So q divides m, which equals to 4 p1, p2, all the way through to p small m minus 1. And this is odd. So q can't be 2. And q is also odd. That means q is congruent to 1 mod 4, or q is congruent to negative 1 mod 4. But the problem is that if q is congruent to negative 1 mod 4, then that's the same as 3 mod 4. So then q would equal some pi. But if q is equal to some pi over here, then q divides negative 1 or 1, which is impossible. So that means every prime factor q of m is congruent to 1 mod 4 and if that's the case then notice that 4x plus 1 times well x1 4x1 plus 1 times 4x2 plus 1 all the way through to 4xt plus 1. So a product of primes, not necessarily distinct, that are of this form. It's congruent to 1 mod 4. So that means m is congruent to 1 mod 4. But that's impossible because notice the form that m is in. m is equal to 4 p1 p2 all the way through to pm minus 1 which is congruent to negative 1 which is congruent to 3 mod 4 and that's our contradiction so this is impossible and there exist infinitely many primes that are congruent to 3 mod 4 and as a challenge you can prove that there exists infinitely many primes congruent to 5 mod 6. The same technique will work in that case. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.